What is nanotechnology? Nanotechnology can be defined as a manipulation of matter that ranges from 1 to 100 nanometers in size. It's hard to imagine just how small nanotechnology is. One nanometer is a billionth of a meter, or 1 times 10 to the negative 9 meters. For example, if a marble was the size of a nanometer, then one meter would be the width of the Earth. The ideas and concepts behind nanoscience and nanotechnology started with a speech entitled, There's Plenty of Room at the Bottom, which was given in 1959 by a notable physicist named Richard Feynman. Within this speech, Feynman put forth two challenges. The first challenge was to construct a nanoscale motor. The second challenge was to scale down letters small enough so as to be able to fit the entire Encyclopedia Britannica on the head of a pin. In November 1960, shortly after Feynman's speech, William McClellan achieved the first challenge and built a nanoscale motor. However, it wasn't until 1985 that Tom Newman achieved the second challenge. He successfully reduced the first page of the Charles Dickens book, A Tale of Two Cities, to 1 25,000th scale. These achievements proved to be important steps in the development of nanotechnology and have laid the groundwork for creation of many of the technologies that we use today. Nanoscale particles can exhibit different electrical, optical, or magnetic properties than larger particles of the same material. This makes nanoscale materials desirable components of new technologies. Today's scientists and engineers are using nanotechnology in a wide variety of ways to make materials at the nanoscale, which take advantage of their enhanced properties. They are able to make materials that are stronger, lighter, and have greater chemical reactivity than their larger scale counterparts. Because of silver's unique antimicrobial properties, nanosilver has emerged as a new option in agricultural science and development of pesticides. It is well known that silver nanoparticles work as effective pesticides because of their ability to affect a wide range of biological processes, such as altering cell membrane structure and function, or inhibiting the function of some proteins associated with ATP production. However, the use of nanotechnology is still controversial and raises many social and ethical concerns. Since this technology is so new, we may not fully understand the risks associated with using nanosilver particles and pesticides, such as the amount of silver contamination in the soil, persistence of silver nanoparticles in the soil over time, silver contamination in the groundwater, or the effects that the silver nanoparticles will have on producing crops for human consumption. It is known that some nanosized materials can behave differently than the same materials of larger size. For example, smaller shapes may also influence exposure and toxicity since some nanoparticles may be better able to pass through cell membranes, bind to membrane receptors, or cross the blood-brain barrier. These particles have the potential to cause harm not only to the plants and other organisms in the ecosystem, but also the farm workers who handle the pesticides and tend to the crops. Companies have started using this technology without proper authorization or regulations. Although the EPA has not officially approved any pesticide products which explicitly stated during their initial registration that they contain nanoscale materials, nevertheless, there are still pesticides on the market which utilize nanoscale particles such as nanosilver. Companies producing these pesticides have been hesitant to pursue further studies due to increased costs, increased regulations, and potential monetary fines if silver nanoparticles are found to be harmful to the environment. The development of new nanotech-based pesticides such as nanosilver particles may help to overcome challenges faced by the agricultural industry including threats to agricultural yields, such as plant-related diseases and pests. However, the potential risks of nanoparticles in agriculture are largely unknown. Many studies assessing usage of nanoparticles and pesticides only show the positive effects and rarely discuss the negative consequences to the environment due to nanoparticle use. The use of nanomaterials in agriculture needs to be fully studied in order to understand the benefits as well as the potential risks of contaminating the soil, the groundwater, harming organisms, and disrupting the food chain.